Welcome back, y'all fanatics. Um, you know it's fall, and you don't really have anything to do, but you're a true yard fanatic. But we've been having this extended summer, summer, and you're trying to figure out how do you get rid of those ant mounds. Well, guess what? BYD is about to show you. Hey guys, this is BYD back again for another video about the Bermuda Lawn Care. Um, some of you guys are probably getting those ant mounds and you're trying to figure out how to get them, how to, excuse me, how to get rid of them. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of ant, ant mounds. Now, bear in mind, the product that I'm using is not a sponsor at all. It's just one of the many that you can use, but I can tell you right off the rip, most people, when they buy um, Ant Mound Kill, they, um, they don't read the directions. So that's one of the issues that most of these people are having when they buy Ant Mound Killers, that they don't read the directions. Um, basically, I'm just gonna go through you, go th um, through it and show you exactly what I do to rid my mounds out of my lawn during the winter now a good thing about having bermuda grass it's not going to hurt your lawn um, bermuda grass is real resilient it can um it can take it it can take it so let me just show you um what you need to do to um, get rid of your ant mounds okay check it out this is one of the products that you can use um i have no particular allegiance to ortho I just went ahead and got it um, but this is ortho fire and ant killer um, and as you can see it says kills queen and colonies guaranteed results and pretty much they do they do work now let me flip this bag over let me show you a couple of things all right now if we're gonna get down to the nitty-gritty of this one of the things You'll see it says uh, apply anytime th fire ant mounds are present. All right. Basic directions. Gently sprinkle half a cup of product over and two feet around each mound. To maximize product performance, slowly and gently water in one to two gallons of water to limit runoff. So you have to do it real slow. Um, and to reduce the chance of disturbing the ant mound. So if you go to your ant mound and you got ants running all over it, that means it's too active, um, which basically says that some of those jokers will get away. So you want to make sure that you don't see ants. Don't disturb it. Don't go kick it, step on it, cut across it with a lawnmower, then you come back and try to put some ant mound, kill on it. It's not going to work. So make sure it's totally undisturbed before you apply the product you shouldn't see any ants you might see one or two crawling around but you don't want to disturb the ant mound before you apply this product okay okay and here's the other thing that I see a lot of people don't understand for best results apply in cool weather 65 to 80 degrees which means you can do it early in the morning or late afternoon or you can do it in the fall like it is now right now we're right at 74 degrees um, so th this product is the most effective when applied in those temperatures, okay? And when you apply this product, make sure that the it dries completely. In other words, I, I wait two, three days before I do anything um, to that area. Um, really, if you can wait a week. Um, now this is a mound killer. Um, I have a video where I basically say that you need to treat the entire yard to rid your yards of um, any kind of pests that you may have in it. But this is just for mounds and generally during the fall It's easier to get rid of them than it is the summertime. So right now I'm just doing mound treatment now understand this bag said Half a cup per mound I have a four pound bag so theoretically a four pound bag should treat eight mounds that are you know a minimum size maybe a foot or two wide but if you got a five foot mound you got other issues going on 
but um generally like i say you can get eight i don't get eight i get robbed for roughly about six out of each of these little bags that i buy and let me show you you know they have bigger bags but this is like i said this is a four pound bag and it's a fast acting formula okay so right now i'm about to show you how to apply this to ant mounds in your bermuda lawn during the fall or winter which you shouldn't have any in the winter because that hard frost should have took those ants out but still we're going to go ahead and apply it and these also this technique can also be used in the spring and summer but you must make sure that you apply early in the morning or late afternoon when temperatures drop below 80 degrees but right now it's in the middle of the day i got 74 75 degrees so i'm good to go i got byd jr with me he's gonna why you looking like that you want to be out here i don't blame you i hate killing ants too but somebody got to kill them all right let's get to it all right y'all y'all fanatics i'm just showing you some of the stuff that basic stuff you you would need you know after you do it a couple of times you don't need it but i got a cup here right now half a cup is eight ounces so we'll probably use a little more than half a cup but i got a cup for my measuring um, device if you are using a uh, measuring teaspoon a cup or anything that you use for cooking purposes if you do that you are not to use that again for cooking okay you will have to throw it away so just get your little red solo cup or, or outdoor measuring cup that you use all the time to measure your chemicals and stuff all right we got the bag here ant mound killer and we got roughly a gallon gallon and a half of water I got BYD supervising me, make sure I get it done right. All right, and also I got some gloves. And you also know to have on um, eye protection. And when you get through, wash your hands thoroughly. All right. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to start by opening up this bag. And most of these bags come with a little notch right there, if you can see it. So I'm just going to rip it. If you got some scissors, that'll work good, but I don't try to put this chemical on a lot of stuff. Like I said, always read these instructions before you start. Say use half a cup. I'm gonna use just a little bit more. Like I said, I got enough in here to theoretically do eight miles, but we probably won't be able to get six but six all right now remember it said apply this stuff on on the ant mound and around it two feet now as you can see my tape measure this is two feet right here so a circle all the way around this ant mound two feet but I'm gonna apply I like to apply it around the mound first before I actually apply it to the mound if that make any sense the reason I don't because once you put it on the mound you'll start disturbing them and you'll start seeing ants coming to the surface and the reason they want you to go out two feet is to kill anything that may try to escape or anything that's in a vicinity that's going back and forth to the mound and remember when we water it we're gonna water the mound and we're gonna water two feet around it Sometimes it works best if you have a water hose with a um, uh, head attachment and you can spray around it. But you want to apply this gently. You do not want to disturb the mound until the last second, okay? So let's go ahead and do it around the mound. Two feet. <clears throat> All right. BYD is recording me. So I'm sprinkling it. Two feet all the way around, y'all. Okay, I just went two feet around the mound. BYD Jr., you still see how much I got in there? Still see that? All right, the rest of this product I'm gonna apply on top of the mound. 
All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna retract my measuring device. And now we're gonna apply on top of the mouth. If you zoom in on that BYD Junior, you see the ants starting to come out. Y'all see them? You see that BYD Junior? Mm -hmm. See them ants? Look at that. Coming out. All the product is gone. Now I'm gonna apply my liquid. As you can see as I'm applying, you see how that mound is getting broke now? All those tunnels that they have up on the ground, this liquid is taking that chemical down to the mound. Killing the colony and the queen. Zoom in on that. Let me bring the camera a little closer and get down real close to it. Oh man, you can see that larvae. See all that ant larvae? You see it? See it? All right, guys, we're gonna check on this later on. See what it looks like. But that is basically how you destroy a ant mound in your Bermuda lawn. Once you start stop seeing activity, you could take a shovel and beat the mound down or one of those um, solid steel tappers and tap it down to level the ground out. But yeah, that's, that's something to see right there. Okay. Hey guys, got anything you want to say, BYD Junior? You say it because we just killed a whole a whole family of ants. Yeah, I'm sad too. Hey, but somebody. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> oh, hey, but you know, in all seriousness. I'm still, I still got the camera on it because when I initially poured it, you seen bigger ants come to the surface, bigger fire ants. Now I only see smaller fire, fire ants closer see they're going one right there that's a big one okay guys make sure you subscribe to Bermuda Grass Central so I can keep you up to date on tips for your Bermuda lawn right now it's fall so things are swelling up 2018 is going to be a bigger year for me and BYD Jr. And he said, hey, y'all, I know, I'm sad too, man. We just, we just killed a whole family of ants. That's crazy. So just remember, guys, you are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD and BYD Jr. 
we're sad right now because we just murdered a whole colony of ants. But we will talk to you later. Got anything you want to say, BYD Junior? You suck, man. Get into it, man. God.